questions from the assembly media? Let's let coach get settled. Um, yeah, so um, what, a, what a great game. I mean, I, I'm so incredibly proud of our kids and just how they followed the game plan, um, how they executed, especially down the stretch, the composure they played with, um, and just the toughness. We talked so much the last couple of days just about toughness and, um, and that, you know, you can have a great game plan and you can have, you know, what you're going to do in, in, within the game, but if you don't have some toughness to execute it, you're not going to win, um, especially on the road. This is such a hard place to play. Um, obviously, Coach Schaefer does such a great job, and he's really um, got this program already back to where I remember it being all the time, and that's what we're wanting to do. And I'm just proud of our kids for taking that first step today. Questions? Is there a leak in the locker room? <laughs> there, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, we had a little bit of a celebration, but um, but I'll do it any time, man. I mean, I'm, and I'm one of those that I don't go out with my hair messed up, and here you go. <laughs> Well, <laughs> what what happened at the start of the second half, and then what was said? What did Vic say to you after the game? Uh, Vic was exceptional after the game. Um, he was very complimentary of our kids. Um, he understands how hard it is um, to to do what we're trying to do, what we're both trying to do. And he was very um, gracious and complimentary, and I appreciated that very very much. Um, and it was just a you know a mix up with the with the starting lineups, and and obviously it's very passionate. We're both very passionate about what we're doing, and we both are going to. Stand up for our kids, and, and that's all that was happening. Were you trying to change who you were putting in? Was that it? Um, no. Apparently, whenever you uh, like, we were trying to start our starters back, and um, and they didn't have our starters starting the second half. Oh, so how big a win is it? Well, it's huge. I mean, it's 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 our first top ten win in nine years, I believe, or um, and so that's that's in itself is huge. Um, a road win in the in the Big Twelve is very rare, um, particularly at Texas. Um, and and it's, we've been talking to our kids about, you know, you, 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 they belong. They belong um, in the talks. You know, we, we've played a lot of, I think we've played four top 25 teams this year. And, um, and we've come up short, and, but we've been right there with them. And, and it was a matter of if we can just put it together, if we can just put it together, um, it can be a signature win and something that will prepare, propel us forward into um, bigger wins, you know, and into more wins. Uh, you just need to have that confidence. you got to have that belief, particularly when you have nine new players. Uh, you're trying to gel them. You're trying to make them believe in one another and believe in, in what we're doing as a, as a coaching staff. And I thought today every single one of them believed wholeheartedly in what you, we were trying to do. I'm sorry, you mentioned about shooting the game plan. Was it about, like, really working them inside? Yeah, we, we definitely had to, I mean, they're big and, and very talented on the inside. Um, we had to control the boards. Um, we knew how important those second chance opportunities would be for them. Um, they're very athletic on the perimeter. And uh, we were going to be, you know, it was going to be tough for us to guard them man for man. But I thought that our kids really executed our zone defense well and, and controlled the boards the whole night. Did you play a lot of defense on zone? No, we, we actually haven't. Um, yeah. We would like to be a a primarily man team. We, we've ran some, yes, but um, not not for 40 minutes. And, and I'm not sure that was really even our game plan to run, but I noticed our kids just started doing it no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> Amber, is, this, is this a game that kind of tells you what this team is? You guys are kind of in the middle of a gauntlet playing really tough teams. You guys obviously haven't had a full team this entire season. Does this win tell you what you need to know about this team? Um, I believe coming in, we already knew what we needed to know about the team. I just feel like we've had a lot of bumps in the road early. And like you said, we finally got everybody back. And we believe in one another. That's the main thing. We care for one another. We love one another. We believe in one another. And when you have that genuinely and truly, you'll do anything for them. So coming together and fighting, going hard down the stretch, keeping it. We haven't played a whole full solid game yet. And this was like a step in that right direction. But like I said before, as you guys know, we haven't been at full strength. And we got everybody back now. So. We're just playing to the best of our abilities. Um, but this isn't like, it's not going to stop here. We're only going to keep going up. Like I said, we got everybody back. So it's a step in the right direction. How close was it, you said, to, a, to that full game? You were talking about? Pretty close. Um, I don't think we got outscored in a quarter. We did in the second. In a second, yeah. maybe. But normally, like, we've played one good quarter and it drops off. 
but we just knew like we had coach does a great job and the staff does a great job of giving us motivational speeches all the time just not just motivational but encouraging us letting us know like we picked y'all this is who we want to go to battle with like Amen. so <laughs> them just encouraging us and letting us know that we can do it is just a step in the right direction and we just want to keep building off of it was there extra motivation going against that <laughs> Uh, <laughs> a be little honest. bit, <laughs> a little bit. Uh, as you know, I played for him two years at Mississippi State. Um, <clears throat> he talked to me after the game, just let me know, uh, like, I did a great job. And you know, Coach Jackson, Blair, Dunk, all of those. I seen them earlier. Nothing but good vibes. You know, we have a good relationship. So it was nothing but love. But it was definitely good to get a win against him. <laughs> Chris, uh, Nick said a couple days ago that he didn't believe in one. He's going undefeated in this conference. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the Big 12 is probably tougher than it's been in, in years from top to bottom. I think that, um, you know, there's a lot of people in the in the, in the hunts. Like, I love that there's, what, four top ten, 25 teams right now, um, and, then, and then we just beat one of them. So, you know, everybody wants to get um, – everybody wants the Big 12 to be a power conference, and especially in women's basketball, and, and I believe this year it really is. Um, but I think it's just going to be – Every single night is going to be a war. Um, the matchups are going to be incredibly difficult. Um, you know, that's we have some different styles in the Big 12, and I think that's why it's not. No one's going to go undefeated because the, the styles um, are hard to match up with sometimes. And it's whether it's um, you know a, a five-out offense that can really shoot it, which, which is what we just ran into against OU. Um, or if it's big and strong um, on the inside like Texas. I mean, there's just a lot of different styles that matchups are going to be really important and, and kind of the telling tell of, you know, who's going to come out on top. Obviously, you mentioned the perimeter for Texas, their guards, how good they are. Do you feel like you can be kind of expose any deficiency inside, but attack them there might be a little more vulnerable there? Than um, the attacking the guards or attacking no, the, the post? Oh, uh, well, I, th I think their posts are really strong and big, and, and that's why we were respecting them and packing the paint as much as we could, um, not only to keep them from shooting it, but also to get the rebound. I'm telling you, the rebounding was going to be it was a huge piece for us tonight. And, you know, I, I, we didn't keep them off the boards very well on the offensive boards. I had 21 offensive rebounds, but um, to out-rebound them by 11 is, is big for us. Yeah. Taylor, just kind of talk about the vision Coach had when she sold you on coming here. I know. Once you got in the portal, she was very interested, but just did this vision kind of cement your decision to, to come to Tech and just talk about you know, how that vision kind of came to fruition tonight? Um, absolutely. She, I know she came from um, a team where she run a championship, so I know she was a winning coach even at the Sun Belt. She was beating everybody. And um, today she even said the year, the time that they beat Texas was the year they won a championship, so it's lining up perfectly how she how she told me. <laughs> how satisfying <coughs> was it that this didn't look anything like a fluke? You know, it was such a solid win. How mm -hmm. big a statement does that make? Um, it makes a big statement. I feel like even the other big teams we played, we could have beat all of them. We just didn't play for 40 minutes and stuck. We didn't stick to the game plan for 40 minutes. We didn't execute for 40 minutes. I think today it showed when we play 40 minutes and execute the game plan, we're going to win. You all shoot about 1,000 free throws a day. And <laughs> a lot of, a lot of we need to. <laughs> we, we need to do better on the free throw line. But, yes, we do shoot free throws every day. How, how big was that, the free throw? Yeah, it was, it was huge. We definitely wanted to attack them and, and get to the line. You know, when, when they run a pressure man, and we talked about that, they run a pressure man. So we've got to be able to – you attack pressure with pressure with, with attacking. And um, – we had to do that to get to the rim, to, to be physically tough um, so that we could get to the free throw line. And um, I thought that our kids, you know, in the first half we shot 50%, um, and I was, we talked to them about that and, and that how, man, regret, the pain of regret is huge. The pain of regret is huge. So when you get to that free throw line, they've got to focus and put the ball in the hole. And you know, really attack the pain really well. Like you said, you got a lot of yes. opportunities off of that. We did, we did, yeah. And I thought they followed their game plan. You know, like I said, if, if you can just withstand the pressure and be tough, like I think you can get there some. Um, they're just so athletic, and they, they, you know, that pressure can really get get you. Um, what I think I'm the most proud of is how we handled their press. Mm -hmm. They didn't get any easy buckets off their right. press. Right. So you, is it safe to say Texas Tech is for real? 
Absolutely, we're for real. It's kind of a little disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else for Bree, Coach, and Taylor?